Holi is here around the corner. Not only it brings lot of festivities into the house, but will also bring lot of difficulties on your furniture, on your walls. If somebody touch your walls, if somebody touch your furniture while playing the holi, you feel very bad about it. You spend so much money in protecting that. You spend so much money in making it. How can somebody damage it? Hi, this is Shashank Jain, co-founder of Woodofa Interiors. My today's topic is how can you protect your home from holy colors? Yes, tips to avoid and to use where you can protect your home, your furniture, your walls from holy colors. Before I share, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, kindly do that. Kindly hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification icon there. Now I'll be sharing more tips how to protect your home. The first tip is how can you protect furniture? So I understand uh, your friends, family play holy around uh, your house or probably inside the house, maybe on your terrace garden or maybe in your lawn, but they will often come inside for some eating. So make sure your furniture is well covered with the plastic sheets or with the old bed sheets. Generally, we know this. We know how to cover it using newspapers, using uh, bed sheets. But what will you do if there is a strain on the furniture? The simple thing which you can do is clean immediately using a wet cloth or a sponge. So there is also an hydrogen oxide spray you can take out from the market and you can spray that on the immediate strain. And after 10-15 minutes, you can remove it. The second element is, is the walls. So generally, we run around. We run around that space, specifically kids. So your kids will definitely put your hands or their hands on the walls and that will keep a permanent strain. First thing you can do is put up an anti-strain varnish. You can go to a local paint store, buy this varnish and apply it on the walls and the areas where you will see there will be people coming in. And also put your furniture away. Try to keep the furniture either towards the walls or keep, put them into a separate room if possible. Bathroom. So after playing holy, what we do is we go for a bath and the bathroom takes that holy shit of all the colors, specifically your taps and your floor. You can protect them using a special chemical if you want. First, use a plastic glove to touch your faucets or your hand faucets. Second, what you can do is you can use some specific chemicals and apply them onto their uh, taps or near your uh, jollies, so on and so forth. So we do have marble in the house, right? Or we use have, or we may have tiles. So you can protect the marble and the tiles using a protection layer. If there are a lot of people coming to your house and there's a party happening, so there will be very less chance that it will not be damaged. It will be damaged. What you can do is you can have a very thin layer of plastic sheet. Put that on your floor, cover it. It's a very simple element. You can find it in your local paint store. Last but not the least, the main door or the internal doors of your house. They take holy load of all the colors. So generally you, your kids or people coming to your house will push the doors. So doors will have those strains. What you can do is you can have a small layer of tarpentine oil and you can apply that all across the doors. And second, use plastic gloves before touching the door stoppers or the door handles and this way you'll be able to protect your doors. So guys, now go on and play holy without tension. Do not worry about holy now. Use these tips to protect yourself and your home and play and enjoy with the colors. So if you like my video, kindly hit the subscribe button and do not forget the bell notification icon there. Thank you so much.